Hey, what's up everybody? So obviously we're in the middle of season five, let the memes begin with the banana car and all the meme related prizes. And if you take a look up here, I'm only minutes away from reaching level 10 and I still have a few contracts left to do. So you know what it's time for. And by the way, I do want to apologize for the lack of uploads lately. I know I only uploaded like two or three videos in like two weeks, but I've just been having so much stuff going on before like school starts and all that stuff. So, but anyhow, the first thing we're going to do is just look back and just recap the other eight prizes that we get before the banana car just to do a little recap and then I'll do my last set of contracts before we reach level 10 and just take a look at the new banana car that you get for level 10. And I will have a speed test of the banana car out at some point either like later today or tomorrow. I have no idea when I'm gonna upload the video but Anyways, we're gonna have to go ahead and rent a house right here because, I mean, um, a majority of the prizes we get for this season are just like furniture items. So, once you reach level two, you get the gaming chair, which I already have in my bedroom in this house. Here's what the gaming chair looks like up close. I think this furniture item really spruces up the rooms, especially if you wanna make like a bedroom or an office area and you could add like your computer, you could add like the confetti uh, machines we have. This is definitely my favorite furniture item we got for this season. Um, the other furniture items I don't really care for to be honest. And obviously you do still have to purchase the seasons pass if you do want to get extra prizes this season. Unfortunately it still costs 400 robux but once you reach level 3 if you do end up purchasing the pass you get this cool looking clickbait spoiler um, which is just these like arrows. I clickbait like this all the time to be honest but of course you could change the color of the spoiler. Um, I think red looks pretty good. I think pestle orange looks pretty good too. Hot orange looks decent and fall chrome also looks pretty good just some kind of orangish reddish color I think looks the best on this spoiler. I feel like they should like fix up the spoiler a little bit because I mean it just looks weird on some cars like the arrow is just like digging into the body of the car which looks a bit weird and like let me just find the Lamborghini for example as you can see the arrows are just like digging into the engine of it. Next up once you reach level four you get another furniture item and I believe this is a trophy stand it's called the if I had one trophy stand I believe that's what it's called but here it is. This furniture item does nothing. I do not care about this item whatsoever. I mean it doesn't really do anything. It's just the tiger rug all over again like no one's gonna use this so I don't really have much to say next up once you reach level five if you end up purchasing the pass obviously you get the drip uh, gun skin now I should be the first one obviously it spawns up here and that's what that looks like on some of the guns let's just spawn the rocket cannon right there yeah this is a pretty cool skin not gonna lie once you reach level six you get another spoiler and this is probably my favorite prize out of the bunch honestly that you get um, um besides the level 10 grand prize obviously but Yep, it's called the tuner um, like wing you get for level six. The spoiler looks really good, actually. I love the spoiler. Um, of course, you could change the color of it. Honestly, I think the spoiler looks the best in like a darker color, like black or matte or like a grayish um, color. Once you reach level seven, if you get the pass, you get the noob scream painting. Now here it is right here, and th this prize is okay. Again, just like the trophy stand, I don't really care for this prize much. I mean, it's just a decoration, it's just a painting. I don't really have much to say about this. I mean, you could already buy paintings like in the store right here. Now as soon as you reach level 8, obviously you get the drip car skin. We got the gun skin already, but you get the car skin and I already have it on right here, but there it is. This skin's actually better than I thought. Um, I actually really like the skin and as you can see, I do have the Deja spawn because I feel like this car looks the best with all these meme prizes since, you know, this is a meme car. Now level 9, I already have these on too, but yeah, you get um, like the YouTuber rims. I keep forgetting the name of all these prizes. RTX or something? I have no idea. But yeah, here's what the rims look like. They're just like rainbow rims. They look pretty good once the car gets going, as you can see right there. Um, they look like my keyboard. I think that's the point. Sadly, these do not light up or anything. I think that was the original plan. I have no idea. They look good otherwise. But since we reviewed all of the prizes, I think we should go ahead and start doing our contracts. So we're gonna um, eat a donut next to a criminal first. Let's just get out our donut, eat it real quick. There we go. Let's go into a public server now and pit maneuver some people. Okay, we have to find three different criminals to ram. So let's just find some. There's someone. Aw, oh, come on. There we go. There's another guy. Let's get our siren going. Uh, stop in the name of the law. All right, uh, let's just ram him. There we go. Bruh, I noticed that no one drives cars anymore in jailbreak. I mean, the only cars I really see is just noobs trying to escape with like the free bra cars. I mean, everyone just drives either the drone, the helis, or just like any aircraft in this game. Come on, I just need one more person. Just one more. You know what? Screw it. I'm just bringing in my account um, so I could ram him. There we go. 
All right, hopefully a rob in the museum will get us up there. Let's just fill up the bag. All right, please get us up to level 10. Please, please, please. Darn it. All right, luckily we have one more contract left. Let's just do this. Okay, let's break him out. Come on. All right. Yes. All right, let's just redeem. I'm going to leave the game and come back because I want some daylight. Okay, we got the banana car over here. All right, let's see how this thing looks. Um, it's actually pretty small. Um, all right. Um, cool. Cool. Just has the bra car engine sound. Let me just turn the volume up. Yep. All right. So let's upgrade the engine now and see how it drives. All right. Um, you could have the spoiler on it, which looks a bit weird, I guess. But all right. Um, has like a cool banana trail. Just see the speed. I just want to kind of enjoy this. Definitely feels a little bit faster than some of the other seasonal cars we've had. Definitely. It's definitely quicker than the Beam Hybrid, I can say that for sure. Um, definitely quicker than the Volt 4x4. Um, Alright, this, this isn't isn't a bad vehicle um, so far. Um, it could be worse, I mean, you never know until you do a speed test, I guess. But um, yeah, overall, I'm going to have the speed test out either tonight or tomorrow. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, if it's three people, headlights work, of course, um, pretty cool. And I actually just noticed a funny little Easter egg with this banana car. Well, not really an Easter egg, but more of just a quirk. But if you use the rocket fuel on this, look, it actually comes out of the stem of the banana and the front too, like that engine hood ornament we got right there. I guess it looks a little bit awkward. I mean, it just looks like the rocket fuel is just trying to propel your car down instead of like forward like every other car but it, it works actually it still does propel your car forward just like every other car but overall when it comes to my progress kind of my experience just leveling up it took me exactly two weeks just like pretty much every other like season we've had to level up i mean there's obviously some cases where people probably just like sleep in and just like miss their sixth set of contracts or whatever but i've only had that happen to me once so i'm pretty much on time with leveling up i mean if i hadn't missed that day i probably would have gotten in level 10 like yesterday which would be only like 13 days worth of leveling up but also this season felt definitely a little, a little bit different um compared to every other season because i mean we got new contracts some of them are harder some of them are easier to do whatever strategy you use but i personally found the contracts a little bit harder to do because i mean i feel like they did like nerf the contracts majorly in vip servers so it was a little bit harder to like um do your contracts especially if you get like one of the bank truck ones before we end the video i just want to see the uh, customization options all right we got interior detail interior main pretty much everything that a normal car has so overall i am pretty impressed with this vehicle actually i'm excited to see um how it works out with the speed test um when i do it later so anyways i think i will see you guys later overall this car is a pretty good off-roader and seems to have a decent speed so take care